All right, welcome back. I discovered my bug. The bug was on line 45 in do select. Um, I have to actually, you actually have to say this dot population equals and then do the rest of this. This otherwise, um, by using this Java 8 syntax to truncate the list, you're not actually, um, you're not actually changing the original list unless you reassign it. So here we said this dot population dot string limit to the initial size and then collect uh, into a list. Well, we need to actually assign that list back to our population in order to do that. That's why we were seeing, uh, that's why it looked like our program was running very slowly, um, basically because we had an array list that was growing. We had basically had an out of memory uh, error built into our program. So now when we run this, we can see our genetic algorithm at work and the best solution discovered so far is being um, sort of projected onto the screen here over and over and over again um, and one thing I promised you guys earlier was where we were doing our sorting right we did the sort what did we call the sort uh, was it here in the population. So when we call the sort here, I should set a breakpoint and I want to make sure that we're sorting in the ascending order. So here, this population, hmm. so Let's see, 509380. It's almost like we need a two string method on the population. Or maybe what we can do is call calculate distance. If we need a two string method on population. If we had a two string method on population, we could then just um, show you the call calculate distance on each solution such that um, right so we can say something like oh by the way I introduced this method called get population so that in the world now I actually discover my bug I actually printed out the population size and I could see my population was growing uh, sort of unbounded and that was how I discovered the bug so if we said at to override public string to string, and we said that uh, actually, no, we'd want to do this for the chromosome, really, right? The chromosome is where we would want to do this. And um, we could comment this out for now. Right, let me comment this out for now. And then just say return uh, builder.append, and what we'll say instead is this dot chromosome dot calculate distance. Or wait a minute, uh, we are calculate distance with that. Right? So now if we do this. Right, so here we go, here's the population, and we can see three, four, blah, 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 three, five, three, eight, and then if we step over it, this indeed is a costly operation to run. Hmm. Did I just thought I stepped over? Let me try that one more time. Let's do a step over. Oh, it looks like I did do the step over. <laughs> it's just taking a really long time.
Well, this is taking a long time, but I think you can do this exercise sort of offline uh, and confirm that this is the case. Uh, but I will undo this. Okay, so I think I think this is good for now. <clears throat> I think uh, what we're seeing here is, um, you know, you've got your application. It works now, and you can use this canvas for many different things. And we can see the solution it is indeed evolving and improving over time. Um, so, a sort of final step for you to do as the developer is to uh, look up that question mark that I put on there for. Uh, for the sorting. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and I look forward to seeing you uh, in future videos. Please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.